Hey guys, what's up? By Sectatron here from One Hive Gazette, here with my next base destruction video. And this one, we're looking at Town Hall 11, uh, which is funny because it's the only Town Hall you don't see in the thumbnail of these uh, types of videos. But anyway, uh, we're going to be taking a look at Town Hall 11 regardless and how it was originally attacked and then how it was cleaned up. But as always, first we're going to look at the base itself and we're going to look at it through the perspective of a mass bowler attack because that's what was used by both attackers and that's what you see mostly at Town Hall 11. You'll see Valks occasionally and maybe even Miners but for the most part mass bowlers are what's working right now. So we're going to talk about it from the uh, the perspective of if you're trying to attack it with mass bowlers. But anyway, um, you can see on this base there are all three of these important uh, defenses inside the core. So <clears throat> being the infernos and the uh, eagle obviously so uh, when you're doing a mass bowler attack you want to be able to get to these all pretty quickly and it helps that they're also uh, clustered together because no matter what direction you come from if you can get most of your bowlers into this area they can uh, get through these defenses pretty quickly and uh, you'll be able to uh, once the infernos are down be able to have your bowlers healed back up by the healers and uh, the eagle will go down which will take away the huge uh, high DPS threat that it brings. So uh, because of that, the goal for the attacker is mainly just to get to the middle of the base and get that taken out as quickly as possible. Uh, the first attacker comes in from this area, uh, drops some bowlers here, some bowlers here with healers, creates the funnel, all that stuff's good, that's what you wanna do. Use those healers, use the bowlers, and uh, create a little funnel there then have your main force come in here with the, with the heroes and your main group of bowlers and then wall breaker in right here so all that goes fine the only problem is the way he came in at this base this side isn't <clears throat> isn't the best option because there's kind of a gap right here and you have to look at bowler pathing because when he drops a jump right over here the bowlers naturally are just going to kind of swing around like that they're not going to get to this first inferno immediately and certainly not going to get to the second inferno tower. So because the way the base is laid out, uh, the bowlers kind of get pushed to the bottom of the screen here. Now a few bowlers do go to the outside more than they more than should, which hurts. But I think even with the number of bowlers that did go into the base, he still could have gotten the job done. Uh, but the problem was his troops went to the bottom here because of that gap in the base. So. I, there might have been a Tesla or something there, but even still, the walls kind of separate it, and uh, the way he dropped his jump too was like here, so that kind of draws a main, uh, the main group to the bottom area, and I don't even think they get maybe they get this Inferno, but that's about it. And there's there's uh, if you look at the base here, there's a lot more that's going to draw them uh, this direction rather than up to this direction. So when you're using your bowlers, it doesn't matter where they go after they take out the core. But you have to make sure they at least are in one big group when they take out the core. And you want them in that one big group because the healers do the splash heal. And you want to make sure they're all together for that same heal. So anyway, we'll take a look at the attack and then we'll come back. And uh, hopefully this will make some more sense once we show the attack. So be right back with that. Okay, so here is the attack. It's done by uh, Zaltarius. And as I said, he's coming in from the bottom left area. Drops down like the three, four boulders there. And then the same at the bottom. Just going to uh, use those healers because he's bringing them anyway. So getting kind of double value because when these bowlers die, the healers will go back up to the main group. Um, but they're creating the funnel here, which they did a good job of. And there goes a golem to tank. Um, doesn't get a ton of value for the golem, but it helps because the bowlers don't have a lot of HP. So you want those initial defenses, if you can, uh, locking on to the golem. Especially keep in mind that eagle artillery targets golems so a lot of times the golem will be separate from the bowlers which um, helps because the bowlers aren't that tanky themselves and the eagle can do work on them pretty fast but anyway heals that first or freezes the first uh, inferno or the back inferno and the eagle but there's that jump and you can see the bowlers actually take out the eagle with the uh, range they have but then they start heading south here and from there they're uh, distracted by all these buildings that are surrounding this compartment that town hall is there but it's not enough for them to reach, so they're gonna continue moving on and kind of ignore that last inferno. Because of that, the healers can't really heal them, uh, and the, heal the healers are going down anyway, 
quite a few bowlers do go to the outside, which isn't helpful, and uh, just nothing is really left up at this point as everything uh, starts to go down. So you can see here uh, these last few troops starting to get pretty low on health. The king's going down right there, and uh, the warden and that golem are going pretty soon also. Uh, the healer's not doing anything because the inferno is still up. So it was a pretty good attack, and I think the idea was there. Just the entry point wasn't quite uh, the best one to choose because that jump, especially where he placed the jump, didn't quite direct his troops to the core. So when we look at the next attack, you'll see how that was changed and how the entry point uh, made the difference on this attack. So anyway, we'll go ahead and fast forward because uh, it's just the uh, warden at this point. So uh, he'll go down in just a moment by that inferno. Uh, just wait for him and call this an attack. So good good plan as Altarius. Let's see what uh, the next attacker did to get the three star. Okay, so Hua has a similar army composition. The difference being that he came from a different uh, angle on this base. He came from the top left, and this is a better choice because uh, once the funnel is created on here and here, same stuff pretty much, he enters in here, and then uh, he's, uh, I think he might beat through the wall there, I'm not exactly sure, but the jump goes down in that area about, and it really doesn't connect to anything else. It might, the corner might actually catch, like, by the uh, clan castle, but even still, most of his troops are going to uh, head straight in. Uh, they they kind of fan out in these two compartments, but they're kind of going into a common jump spell, and the jump is directing them straight towards this area right here, which is what you want to happen, whereas in the first attack, the jump's over here, and they're being basically pushed off in this direction, because bowlers, the, the weird thing about them is they have a lot of range with that second bounce, but their vision is only one tile. They're kind of like a wizard. So they're not going to target as far as you think they will, and they're kind of just going to follow the jumps as you place them for the most part, which is why you can't expect them to do like uh, to snipe buildings or anything on their own. You really have to direct them straight on top of the buildings you want them to take out because you can't count on getting lucky off the second bounce. So, uh, on Hua's attack, he comes in with the jump right about there. Uh, so everything's moving in here, pops the Warden's ability, and uh, both these Infernos, the Eagle, all that's going down right away. The angle's just a lot better. There's no gap in the base. Um, it's just a straight shot. There's uh, buildings connecting this entire area. Has the walls here and here, which keep the bowlers kind of going in this little lane right here. So that always helps. They're not going to wander off. And uh, even though a few do hop into this compartment, they're still kind of near the Inferno. And if anything, they're only funneling the main group of bowlers uh, straight at the Infernos and the Eagle. So we'll take a look at the attack, and uh, it should illustrate exactly what was changed. So let's go ahead and show that. So here is the attack. We have uh, Hua going in with the same pretty much setup. I think that's four bowlers, I think, maybe three. Can't quite see there. Uh, but with the two healers on them, and I think they actually go for quite a while there. And then the other two kind of doing, the other two healers with another group of bowlers doing a smaller job, but still clearing out some buildings. There goes the main group, kind of a three-finger drop. Everything headed in. Uh, the CC comes out. It's not a threat. But uh, it has a few wall breakers. That first jump actually just is placed a little farther back to let them th over that first wall. And then there goes that second jump. And like I said, the walls kind of keep all the bowlers contained. They're all heading towards the core. And even though a few do, do go a little more north, the main group is directed straight at the Infernos by the jump. And uh, the Eagle, both Infernos go down extremely quickly. And because of that, the healers do their job. They get these bowlers healed back up under that rage, especially. Um, everything's at full health at this point and uh, free to move through the rest of this base. Those bowlers actually uh, made a solid move on this base. They went pretty much all around it, uh, kind of like a 180, and the Lava Hound's not doing anything to them. So they'll make their way around the base while the heroes uh, has all three heroes and two of his heroes' ability, the king and the queen's ability left, uh, plus all the extra troops, the wizards, and everything. So crush this base. You can see how much of a difference it made, just the angle he took. And uh, if you notice, he used two jumps pretty early because it's important, like I said, to direct your bowlers early 
they can kind of fan out how you want near the end of the attack, especially when both Infernos are down. But while the Infernos and the Eagle are still up, you need them to be in one group going straight at the main part of the base. And what becomes tricky is when people separate their, inf their Infernos and their Eagle and kind of put them in weird places towards kind of the outside of the base. That can make it a little trickier. But as long as the uh, everything's kind of in one central compartment, there's really no excuse for not three starting at Town Hall 11 with how strong bowlers are right now. As long as you funnel them into the base, you should be able to get the three star, especially on a cleanup attack when you can uh, see what happened to the first attacker. So anyway, awesome attack to both uh, people of the Genesis clan uh, and especially Hua getting the three star. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this base destruction video. Let me know if you did and I'll see you guys later. Bye, Sectatron out.